please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, iPhone support tech here with today's video. In this video, Dave describes how he came to his current championship winning setup. Whether you ride an R6 or a GSX-R1000 or a CBR600, matters not, the principles can all be applied as he explains how he came to test various settings and geometries to come up with the bike that works best for him. Whether you ride on the street or at the track, all of these principles can be applied. You don't have to be at the super sharp end of the stick. If you're commuting or touring all the way up through spirited uh, canyon rides or really slamming the twisties, all of these principles apply in order to get your bike tuned and working properly for you. Here's a preview. So how do we take a standard R6 for me and then turn it into, in this case, what became my B bike after three seasons of winning championships on this bike um, to make it work for me. So the very first thing, of course, is ergonomics. With the stock foot pegs, I found that the angle in my legs actually was a lot more comfortable. The stock bar it was too actually too close to me. So the next thing for me to do was figure out geometry. A lot of people with the R6, 08 and newer because the forks were 10 millimeters longer, put them at the joint of the cap in the tube. That's where I ended up with the position I have using the stock triple clamps. Coming to the back of the bike, the shorter wheelbase gives me better flickability, which is really helpful at tight technical tracks like Sonoma. The longer wheelbase gives me much more stability at fast tracks like Thunder Hill and Buttonwillow. I have a stock shock, but secondly, it also gives me the swing arm angle that I'm looking for, for grip. Over the course of three seasons, the bike got better and better and better and better. And the point there, especially in regards to geometry, is that you have to try different settings to find what works for you. If you have a small bike, you still go through the same process. A mid-sized bike is no different. And a thousand cc bike technically is no different either. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.